Hey everybody, Mac the Monster, back with Marvel Heroes, and this time we got Scarlet Witch on this chopping block, and she just had her level 52 review. And, um, she's obviously going to be in a much better spot, because she's got everything done to her. So she's got her signature, she's got a few new skills, and she's got, uh, well, a little bit new mechanic to her. So, going over the new skills... Uh, one of them uh, being not really new, but Chaos Magic's kind of gotten revamped a little bit. A couple skills mixed together. It's got the crit and brutal strike rating now, and then the 15% chance to get the man minor hex. And now its active ability is crowd control, uh, immunity, so that's for the PvPers. The new skill is bouncing hex. And this basically works just like all the other bouncies. You hit it, and there's a, up to a three to six max, maximum targets. Um, so it's kind of chaotic that way. And then it's chaotic again because every time it hits, there's a 20% chance to create a new bouncing hex that deals 50% less damage. So it gets pretty chaotic there. A new skill uh, two is Hex Sphere. That's under Decimation. This is basically a large uh, damage sphere, single target fire, and it goes straight. And if it hits your target, it does the damage. You get three charges, and it, as you do chaos damage, the meter refills pretty quickly. And as you do no damage, it slowly recharges. Uh, and you get a little meter down here that tells you how many charges you have. New skill, Beasts from Beyond. Um, even though it sounds like uh, it's going to be summons, it's really just an area skill. And the area has little beasts that come up and does damage. One little thing you'll note, it does anywhere from 89 to 17,682 damage. That's the chaos effect that they're they're trying to get in there. It's really chaotic damage, uh, so it's not as reliable as regular damage, uh, at least yet. But what's nice is enemies take 20% extra damage from chaos powers for three seconds when they're hit by a beast. So that's some extra big extra damage. And then obfuscation. Um, this is a couple of other skills wrinkled into one. It's got the damage negation, defense, projectile deflection, maximum spirit, and the uh, bring you back to life if you die. And then all your uh, you and all your allies gain cost constitution, restoring 210 health per second. It also has an active effect of slowing the movement and attack speed. Allies become protected, shielding them from 25% of incoming damage and healing them for 5% of their maximum health per second. Allies cannot be protected again for 25 seconds after leaving the area effect. So it's kind of a couple different skills warped into one. And then her old ultimate became her new signature which is unmake reality and it works a little bit better it does mental damage twice per second uh, for 4.2 seconds it stuns powerful enemies anything that's not powerful it's instantly destroyed and uh, it gives you a buff chaos it fixes have maximum possible damage so that's where the the other thing comes in where for the most part, they have very random damage, but then with this buff, that max high max damage really pays out. And then there's other things that go on here, like Dark Hex has no cooldown. Uh, Chaos Blast deals 30% ex extra damage, things like that. Chaos Warp is back, not too much has changed there. Uh, the chaotic effect is healing and regenerate between 1 and 350 health when you hit an enemy. 
and you can actually see the damage negation on there. Let's see, what else do they do here? Let me check that. Well, they added Iron Maiden, which uh, wrap your enemy's mind in a vice of chaos, weakening them and doling out damage every time they attack. So every time they attack, they take damage. It's pretty nice. There is no weaken effect on there, actually, even though it says it weakens them. Uh, the disruption powers, like for instance, Bewitching Hex now has uh, restores two spirit plus two spirit for each different disruption power used in the last ten seconds. So it's got these tie-ins disruption. Uh, Chaos, Chaos Blast has disruption, and Dark Hex is the uh, other exclusive skill. If you take um, Hex sphere, you can't take Dark Hex. Well, you can take it, but they're both on mutually exclusive uh, cooldowns. And then Dark Hex does mental damage. And then if you're using disruption skill lines against enemies affected with Iron Maiden, it does more damage twice per second. Uh, against enemies affected by reality and implosion, enemies take 20 extra percent extra damage from disruption tree. Uh, against enemies affected by Ravenous Binding, reduce, reduce this power's cooldown by 4 seconds and increase Dark Axe's damage by 50%. So that's interesting there. That's really all it changes, uh, other than No More, which is her ultimate, which is pretty disgusting. Uh, it does mental damage twice per second, which is an insane amount. Uh, explosion mental damage, which is even more. Leaves you invulnerable for 3 seconds and gives you... A buff effect of damage over time powers have no spirit cost and deal 25% extra damage and 50% invasion chance or chance to negate incoming damage. So it's just pretty sick. So for her build, the Queen of Chaos, I call it. Um we're going to do 20 points to KI Kex. This is going to be our single target damage dealer. And it's going to deal out tons of single target damage. It's going to be very nice. It's very chaotic, but on average, we're averaging a massive amount of uh, single target damage. Uh, 20 points to Chaos Magic. This is going to give us critical strike rating, brutal strike rating, and that chance to do something chaotic. 20 points into Bouncing Hex. This is going to give us some extra flavor for dealing with trash or uh, summoning, uh, extra summoning mobs, you know, let's say curse. Um, 20 points into Hex Sphere. This will be, again, some extra single target uh, damage. 20 points into Beasts from Beyond. This will be some extra damage and uh, make enemies take more damage from our, our single target spells or area target spells. It's very nice. Then we're going to do 20 points into obfusca Obfuscation. I don't know why I want to say it wrong all the time. This is going to give us a good chunk of defense, and uh, we'll take that. 20 points into Unmake Reality. It's just a disgustingly good uh, signature. A little bit longer of a cooldown at 40 seconds, but it works really good, so might as well take it. That should leave you with a little bit of points left over, or 20 if... Uh, you put um, you got all your points out. So the rest of your points goes into Chaos Rift. And that's going to give us some extra damage and 10% uh, chance to instantly destroy minor enemies when cast. And enemies take 10% extra damage. So together we should be able to get 30% uh, yeah, 30 extra damage done. Which is nice. Now, for gearing, I got uh, health on our core because we're soloing. 25% uh, of health, 3 to 1 core, 3,000 health, 100 spirit on med kit use. Using the Warlock's Eye. Uh, I just like the Warlock's Eye and mental characters. 1,000 mental damage rating is nice with 500 crit rating. 
I got a River of the Soul and a Defensive Uru. I got Insignia Spider Woman, which gives me a 4% chance when attacked to charm the attacker for 7 seconds. But this one's got plus 1 to all powers and 359 to area powers. Not all her powers are area, but enough of them are area that that's going to benefit. I got a Cosmic Ring with critical hit chance, health, and defense. I got my Herbie here, which we're leveling. Not going to be too much of help help to me, but I still need those cosmic levels. I got Relic of Lemuria. Probably some better choices for relics, but that's what I got. Using a Hand of Nimrod. That's going to give us ranged power damage um, and give us some spirit when we hit. It's very useful. Magneto was right t-shirt. That's going to give us damage rating and damage rating versus ranged pop, uh with our ranged powers, that's going to be awesome. It's also going to give us critical hit rating and brutal strike rating, which we need. Uh, Wizard Medallion, this is going to give us a lot of damage rating. It's going to give us 433 mental damage rating and 422 damage rating to range powers. And then a 5% chance to knock targets up in the air when we hit. That's a lot of damage. Advanced Wicked Wand of a Tomb. This is going to give us 244 mental damage rating, 262 damage rating. So again, there's a lot of damage rating. The Danger AI chip mental, 383 damage rating plus another five or 300 damage rating to mental targets. Uh, that's a lot of damage rating. So she's getting stacked with her damage rating. She's going to be able to dole out a ton of damage, even though it's not saying it there once it starts rolling out the damage it's going to come through excellently and then we got her full kit here and we're going to use the gloves of infinite entropy uh, just because we like entropy 783 damage rating 332 mental damage rating they could have put those together she only does mental damage um, 1188 critical damage rating, 755 brutal damage rating, a couple of proc chances there, and then plus five to ranks to Scarlet Witch's decimation powers, uh, which is pretty good. Then we got the mark of the Nexus being 577 damage rating, 2,565 defense rating, 69 spirit, 2,300 health, uh, proc, minus 6% spirit cost, gain 5 spirit when you defeat an enemy, a 42% chance when you take damage to gain 279 defense, and take 2.3% less damage from enemy powers for 10 seconds, plus 2 to all powers, plus two ranks to all Scarlet Witch's negation powers, plus five ranks to unmake reality. That's pretty nice right there. <clears throat> Look at all this stuff with damage rating here. Brotherhood of Evil Mutants Cape. 251 damage rating, uh, 1416 defense rating, 1700 health, 238 mental damage rating, 16% power radius, 8% uh, spirit cost, it's a range power negation, 6.5% attack speed. When you hit with a mental power, gain 6.1% projectile deflection, 299 critical hit rating, 299 brutal strike rating for 6 seconds. That's going to be up all the time. Plus 1 to all powers, plus 1 to all ranged powers, plus 2 to unmake reality. Genosian royal slippers 1500 defense 392 damage rating to range powers 8.2 percent power duration plus five percent damage to boss bosses um 1400 health 283 brutal strike dam rating 773 brutal damage rating plus two ranks to all powers plus seven ranks to obfuscate uh, that's it. That's pretty good. Chthonic headdress. Uh, 2560 defense rating, 1323 health, 54 spirit, 366 critical hit rating, 
1,293 critical damage rating. Uh, plus three ranks to all Scarlet Witch's decimation powers. So that's pretty awesome, too. And that's it. It's going to give us a massive chunk of defense, 12,000. We're already at 2,000 damage rating, but by the time we're done with our mental damage rating, um, it's 3725. It's not even started to proc anything yet. Probably should put us closer to 5,000 easy. Um, so let's go take out a Cosmic Dr. Octopus here. Show it on the floor. It's pretty easy. All I'm doing is dropping the the circles, and when there's a group of enemies, I'm casting Bouncing Hex. And for this, I got Chaotic Hex on my left mouse, Bouncing Hex on my number one button, and I got Chaos Rift on number six, Beasts from Beyonds on number five, Hex Fear on number four, I'll Make Reality on number three. And chaos shift is my right button. There's that bouncing decimate all the groups. Bouncing is a little bit slow to go, but it does such a good job. It's a little buggy on these stairs.
Alright, we got everything we need. We're at 125, and here is Dr. Octopus. I just opened up with everything on them. And pretty easy. She just dulls out so much damage and you can teleport out of everything. It is not an issue. All I did was lock in on them with chaotic kicks. And then I dropped our chaos rift. Beast from beyond. Fire off my Hex orbs, hit him with unmake reality, and repeat the whole process over again, the whole time firing off Chaos X, and it just obliterates him. So, that's it. Um, Queen of Chaos, Scarlet Witch, hope it helps, hope you guys enjoy, and talk to everybody real soon.